Hey folks, it's Teresa Stringfield Ridge Farm. Uh, I don't normally do grocery hauls or any kind of hauls. I don't normally do that. I've done one before that was a Dollar Tree haul just because I got a lot of good uh, prepper type items there. And uh, so I will link that at the end of this video. And uh, I, just, I just got back from Dollar Tree and wanted to share another grocery haul. The one I done before was a year or two ago, and uh, I'm always looking more at prepper items there than anything, and, um, and, and they have a lot of good deals, really. Um, you know that if you go to the Dollar Tree. Sometimes there's a few things that you can get cheaper elsewhere, especially since the Dollar Tree has gone to $1.25. Our dollar stores around here still have a dollar aisle that <clears throat> everything on that aisle is a dollar. So if you can find it on that aisle, it would be cheaper uh, because Dollar Tree has gone to $1.25. Also, one of my favorite places to watch Dollar Tree hauls is uh, Jenny over at... Um, um, Homestead Corner. Uh, Jenny's always doing Dollar Tree hauls and she looks at the kind of prepper uh, side of it too. So uh, she's my inspiration. I watch her and then I get an idea of what the Dollar Store has going on or Dollar Tree has going on right now and I go in and pick up some of the things that she mentions. So that's one reason I wanted to do this because I got a few good deals that I thought I would pass on. Now, I'm just gonna show you what's right up here right now. This is a huge bottle of dishwashing liquid. It is not as thick as Dawn, but it is, to me, it is very much like Dawn. It's not quite as thick, I've noticed, but it does great. It's a huge bottle for $1.25. You just can't beat that. Unless you are so stuck on Dawn that you uh, won't try anything else. But I'm telling you, I love Dawn. But this I've been getting for a while now. And to me, it's, it's a little bit thinner. I'll admit that. But it does the job and it's great. And that's what I use. And it's a huge bottle. So the other one is Pine Saw. If you use Pine Saw. <clears throat> and you can make your own Pine Saw. And I have plenty of pine around here to make my own pine saw. I just don't fool with it. This is a huge, again, a huge bottle. Plus right now it's 25% more in the bottle. So it's an even bigger bottle. And this works just as good as pine saw. It's called Pine Glow, antibacterial and disinfectant for the kitchen and bathroom. I use it a little bit in the laundry, like Lee's laundry. Lee's clothes and towels. I splash a little bit of this in there. And uh, and I also mop with it. Huge bottles. That's the thing there. That's the huge savings there is that they're huge bottles. And you might think they're not quite as good as the name brand, but they're pretty much as good and huge bottles for $1.25. Can't beat that. No matter what, you, no matter what, you can't beat that. Okay. Freezer bags. Okay, again, you might think that the cheaper freezer bags are not as good, and there's only 13 in here, but it's only $1.25, and I don't use them a whole lot, and if I'm putting something in the freezer, like meat that needs to be in there um, a year, <laughs> I would not use these probably. Uh, they're good, they're good. Don't get me wrong, they're good. And I use them all the time, but I use them more for, um, let's say, vegetables that are only going to be in the freezer for a month or two. I use these. And a lot of times, um, I reuse. I reuse bags depending on what I've put in them. If I just put some vegetables in them and it's only been in there for a couple of months, I will wash them out and reuse them. Not everybody wants to do that, but just saying, for $1.25, you just can't really beat that. You just can't. Uh, okay, these I get all the time there. This is like Neosporin. 
You can also make your own Neosporin, and I make a lot of salves that are good, but what I get these cheap Neosporins for is triple antibiotic, triple antibiotic, uh, so I have it quick on hand. I especially like to use these on the animals. If I'm gonna use an antibiotic on the animals, I just grab one of these little cheap tubes quick. Uh, but they're good, they're good. Um, I'm gonna say they're as good as nail spawn, but you know, that's my opinion. Okay, <clears throat> trying to move this out of the way as I go. I just come in with this stuff, y'all. I like to have wipes. I keep wipes. I keep wipes in my car. I keep wipes at work. I keep wipes in my bathroom. Kids, kids get sticky hands and sticky fingers and sticky mouths. Always good to have these. And $1.25, these are the best ones I've found, by the way. I love these. It's Fisher Price. They always have these at the Dollar Tree. They're Fisher Price, and this one is unscented, fragrance-free, unscented. I get these all the time. Every time I go there, I get one or two. <clears throat> Love those. So, uh, let's see. These large popsicle sticks, I use them as uh, plant markers, and I have bought plant markers that broke the first year. And I know that you can get, um, a lot of people get blinds and cut them up and use them, but for me, I love these. They don't last a long time, and you can write on them with a permanent marker. It will last the year, maybe two, but they do tend to break and get, um, uh, where they're down in the dirt at, they get kind of uh, rotten. Uh, so they may not last but a year, but for $1.25, there's 60 in there. That's all I use. I use these all the time. I have bought, I have paid more money and bought um, plant markers that didn't last any longer. So I just go back to that. Uh, these are new. This is new at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen this there before. I'm just gonna try them out. I got two bags of them. There's 20 pieces. It is plant clips, and there's three different sizes in here. And they're just like a little clip, but the inside of it is kind of uh, softer so it doesn't hurt your plants. I've never seen these there before, and uh, and I thought that was very interesting. And that could possibly clamp up your um, your uh, tomato plants and stuff. And like I said, it's, it's um, I don't know. Let me show you. To clamp up your tomato plants and there's, or whatever. And there's three different sizes in there. Never seen that there before, that's interesting. I needed one of these out by my, uh, Lee put me a water um, hydrant out beside my greenhouse. And uh, we have one of these for the regular water hydrant that we use up here by the house. But he ran me a line and a hydrant out to my greenhouse I'm so happy about. And so I can reach everything out there in my garden and and the animals and the greenhouse with one little hose instead of stretching five hoses out across the property or hauling water so i got one of these at the dollar tree it's probably cheap um it's got a seven pattern spray whatever but it's probably a cheap one but it actually feels as good as the one i bought at the dollar store I got one at the dollar store last year, I think. A green one that we still have out here we use. And this is just like it. And uh, I believe I paid $3 for the one at the dollar store, maybe. I don't remember. So anyway, got one of those. Um, <clears throat> more, more of the plant holders. Um, so this is not, I mean, this is just frivolous. Uh, it is tea tree oil, leave-in conditioner. And I use leave-in conditioner for my curls. 
and I wanted to try this one. It's just a tea tree leave-in spray conditioner. And uh, so, detangles and protects, adds shine. Never seen that there before. I thought I would try it because I do use that stuff. I usually get some at the dollar store that I use. Um, so, these are just ink pens, colored ink pens. They are different colored ink pens. I'm trying something new with my planner this year. I'm really, I bought a really good planner uh, that I could customize online and it was expensive. It was expensive. It was, I think about 40 bucks, but I could customize it and put the calendar and the to-do list exactly how I wanted them. And I bought stickers to go with them so I could stick on dates for birthdays and things. And I bought these colored pens. Now I've been using the planner since January, but I've been using a green ink pen in it. And I decided the colored pens I could mark with the different colors and help me know what's work, what's home life, what's, you know, grandkids, whatever. So, um, so I'm try that. And, and you know, whatever, $1.25, you can't beat that. Um, so placards, I get these all the time. I love these. I keep one in my purse and one in my car because you know, you always need a toothpick. Lots of times you need a toothpick and these are wonderful. I keep a pack in my car and a pack in my purse. Uh, <clears throat> these I got, uh, this was at the, <laughs> this was at the checkout and it was one of those spur of the moment Oh, I might need that thing at the checkout. What do they call them? Impulse buy. So this was my impulse buy for the day. They will come in handy somehow. <laughs> but that's my impulse buy for the day is these clips. They are just clips like chip. I was thinking chip clips, uh, anything, anything, you know. And they're good sturdy ones. They're good sturdy clips. Whatever. Okay, that's just stickers. This is stickers that I'm gonna use. I had bought a pack, but I saw these for a dollar. I, I paid, I know, $5 for the other one I got. Uh, I got one at, uh, I think, Michael's Crafts. I went to get some yarn. I'm using a specific yarn for Christmas projects for this year. And I got the yarn at Michael's and it's craft store if you don't have one. And they had a pack of stickers that I liked I was gonna use for my planner, but uh, very similar to this. And this was $1.25 for 251 stickers. I paid $5 at Michael's for about, oh gosh, less than half of that. I think there was 80 stickers in the one I bought for $5. Huh, yeah, could have saved myself a lot of money. There's a whole bunch of different pages of stickers in here of all kinds. So there you go. If you do any kind of planner, journal, stuff like that, and like to have stickers in there, there you go. Go get one of those. It's up by the register. Okay. Uh, birthday card was 50 cents. There are two for... Well, not 50 cents, two for $1.25. You know, you get two for whatever. Uh, got a kid with a birthday coming up. So I grabbed that. These are more stickers, sticker labels. So I use these for a lot of things. And uh, I usually get some white ones that's at the dollar store, but these were different and I just thought I'd grab that. All right. And all of this, ugh. Everything I'm showing you was $32. $32 for all of the stuff I'm showing you here today. Okay, I get this salt. Now, this is a different brand than I had been getting there. I love Redmond's Real Salt, but it is expensive. And I get it. I, I do get Redmond's Real Salt to have as to put straight on food. Uh, I even have a little bitty bottle that I pack in my purse of it. But uh, 
It is kind of expensive and this is good salt. Now this is a different brand than I had been getting at the dollar store, but I'm sure it's fine, but it's just pink Himalayan salt, $1.25. And this is a, oh gosh, sorry. It's gonna tell you how big, I don't got my glasses on. I can't tell you. Uh, don't know. I can't read the how much it is, but it's a good size bag. Wish I could read that for you. Ah, one pound, <laughs> one pound. I got two of those. One pound bags of Himalayan pink salt, dollar twenty-five each. So, and that's uh, fine. That's a real fine grain. The other brand I was getting there, I like the fine grain. The other brand I was getting there was a medium. Uh, medium grain. I guess I'm saying that right. This is a fine grain. So I'm going to like that better. Mustard. Big thing of mustard. <clears throat> I think this is bigger than what I've been getting there of mustard. This is a 20 ounce. And I think the other one I was getting there might have been like 12 ounce or something. So this is a big mustard for uh, Dollar Tree. And the ketchup, no preservative hunts, no preservative hunts ketchup. And it's a good size. It's, uh, oh gee, 20 ounce. So there you go. Uh, garlic, I always pick up a little garlic there. It's five, 5.6, no, eight ounces. I was looking at the wrong thing. It's an eight ounce minced garlic. I always pick up one of those wherever I go that's cheap. Dollar store, Dollar Tree, I pick up minced, minced garlic. And I could do my own, and I have my own garlic planted, but I like to have those in the refrigerator, just a quick, not have to chop up the garlic, just a quick grab it, throw it in thing. So, what else? Just a couple more things. This is new at the Dollar Tree. I've never seen this before, and it's very, uh, I'm just gonna try it. Just, uh, this is a luxury <laughs> because it's not a big bag. It's a very small bag, but it's Jim Beam. I, I got it because of the brand name. Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla Coffee. I just had to try this. I saw it and I was like, ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> so, it's a small bag, but I just had to try it. Four ounces. I don't know how many servings that'll be, but I just had to get that to try it. That's a luxury instead of a, you know, prepping or necessity or anything. Okay, I would not normally buy seeds at the dollar store. Dollar Tree or dollar store. <laughs> but uh, because I usually get heirloom seeds, I usually get, you know, in my gardener or Baker's Creek or Hoss or... Mm, where else have I got some? Well, anyway, and we save seeds. That's the best way. That's the best and most economical way is to save seeds from last year. And we've done that a lot. But it just so happened that I didn't have many radish seeds this year. I looked through my seeds already to see what I was going to plant. And I had one pack of radish seeds that didn't have a whole lot left in it and had been opened from last year. And these are French breakfast radishes. And it was four packs for a dollar, which is a dollar 25, but four packs for a dollar 25. I just got two, so it's 50 cents for some breakfast radishes. That's it, but that's a lot, y'all. For $32, that's a lot of stuff. So um, anyway, I wish they were still a dollar but as high as everything else is going up, this was a uh, great, great, great deals. I got a lot of stuff here and a lot of big bottles, big packages of stuff too. So uh, anyway, I'm excited to mess with these stickers in my planner and my new ink pens. And I'm going to get busy in my planner and plan. So there you go. <laughs> There's my haul. I probably won't do another one for another year, but uh, just uh, thought I would show some of this. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up, comment, 
and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, watch us on Thursday nights at 6 central.